All right, we got the Battle of the Autonomous Zones out in New York City. They have seen their second autonomous zone this year, uh, their second perhaps ever. I don't know. I didn't look into it that deep. But the point is, we got a couple of guys out on Staten Island who wanted to reopen their business, uh, deemed it an autonomous zone. They were immediately shut down and arrested, which is in stark comparison to the original New York City Chaz that was outside of City Hall Park uh, earlier this year back in summer. So when that happened, you had literal thousands of junkies camped out in the park for nearly a month, and they saw no consequences, even though they were shooting dope, they were spray painting the entire block, there was tents, it was absolutely disgusting, it was a health hazard at its very best. But not only did they not face any consequences, they actually got these politicians to capitulate to their demand of cutting $1 billion from the New York City Police Department, even as crime spikes. So as crime spikes, they only want to talk about the spike in cases, which is also very strange because now we're only talking about cases. Because at the beginning, we were talking about deaths and hospitalizations. Now we're just talking about cases. Even though they're literally, they're littering the entire city with propaganda about go get a test, go get a test, go get a test. And then the test come back positive and they say, oh, there's too many positive tests. We better shut it all down. It's absolutely insane. It's the way they play with the words. Same thing with just the word coronavirus. At the beginning, it was all coronavirus, coronavirus. And then people realized that the word coronavirus was on the back of a Lysol bottle. So they had to switch it to COVID because COVID sounds way more scientific. And everybody knows that you have to follow the science. But no, they won't follow the science, not by a long shot. Uh, the, the people out in California admit that they have no science behind shutting down outdoor dining, but they did it anyways. And now Gavin Newsom is saying we got to shut down everything because the hospital beds are going to be at capacity. We already heard this. We already saw this movie and we know it's not true. Stop doing it. Plus, you already had... Uh, a whole hospital ship out in Los Angeles, just like Governor Cuomo in New York had three filled hospitals and they all remained mostly empty. So why are they doing this? And nobody wants to talk about flattening the curve anymore. It's this stupid play on words that they continue to use for full control. And I have an honest question. I is not rhetorical. Would we be seeing this if Donald Trump had simply conceded the election a couple days um or conceded the presidency to Sleepy Joe a couple days after the election. Would, would we be seeing this? Or would they double down knowing that they have complete control? Honest question. I do not know. Even as we see out in China and Wuhan, they're throwing pool parties and having music festivals and not, they're not worried about it. They continue to put people through this. It's absolute insanity. We're seeing the hypocrisy all across the board from the mayor in Denver, Pelosi, Newsom, uh, Mayor Breed in San Francisco, that supervisor, it just goes on and on and on. Just when you think it can't get any worse, another story breaks about these crooked, corrupt Democrat politicians breaking their own rules. And, and it just, it's absolutely mind boggling. Almost as mind boggling as the thought that Joe Biden actually won the general election. I stand by the idea that he didn't even win the primary. And we know that nobody even like Kamala, she didn't make it to the Iowa caucus. And the Iowa caucus, if you recall, was a complete dumpster fire where you had Mayor Pete Buttigieg uh, declaring himself the winner. And then it turns out that he's actually linked to the voting software that they were using for that event. So this is all absolutely insane. I don't understand for one second how you can let a thousand junkies camp out at City Hall Park for nearly a month. But when a couple of guys out on Staten Island want to reopen their business... They immediately get shut down. This has to end. And they really only made them more famous, right? I had never heard of that place until this whole thing happened. And if I ever make it back to New York City, I will certainly be paying them a visit.